So we're back at it here at Hoosier Hardware and I wanted to make a video because I actually just got a brand new keyboard that I was very excited for. I've been eyeing for a long time. So today I wanna to talk about a wireless keyboard option that actually turns out to be super fast and that is the Logitech G915. Let's talk about this thing's response time. Now, as we get into this, the links for these three keyboards I tested are in the description down below in case you're interested in seeing what current pricing and availability looks like. And while you're down there, yeah, hit that subscribe button. It's pretty cool. So one of the big criticisms of wireless keyboards has always been not just the latency and the response time to pressing a key to actually getting an input onto your uh, monitor uh, or your game or whatever application you're using is, but also the interference that you have to deal with with a wireless connection because sometimes that connection can just be a little bit inconsistent. Now to address that connection issue, I know some people have had better luck with wireless peripherals than others. Fortunately for me, I've been using a Logitech super light gaming mouse for a while and I've absolutely had a great experience with wireless connection and I'm using the same basic connection style with this G915 in that I have my dongles just uh, plugged directly into my uh, tower, my PC tower on the back side of the tower though. To be fair, that's actually quite close to the peripherals I'm using. And then I just have the peripherals on my desk and I'll show you some B-roll of that connection here. But basically you're looking at a couple of feet between the actual keyboard and mouse and their respective uh, sort of dongles that plug into the machine. And I've had no issue with that. But if you do have issues, the upside is Logitech at least does include a cable and then a little connector that can actually plug into the charging cable. So you can plug your wireless receiver directly into that uh, particular little attachment. So if you need to get your receiver closer to your device, Logitech does give you an option in the box uh, and that's just gonna purely depend on what your use case is and where exactly you put those receivers. But for the most part, I've had a great experience with my Logitech peripherals. With that out of the way, I do wanna focus mostly with this video on the actual response time of this keyboard because the other complaint that you'll hear about wireless keyboards is they just don't have the same response times to uh, actual wired keyboards. And we've actually heard this complaint for years and years when it comes to gaming mice as well and frankly gaming mice on the wireless side of things are pretty much on par with their wired counterparts at this point which is actually one of the main reasons i got these super light mouses because it has fantastic uh wireless uh, response times and completely vacates the wired sort of necessity where i don't have to drag a cable around i have a light mouse that actually performs very well so i was curious to see if logitech's keyboard would keep up with that. Now the methodology is really simple. I have a dedicated device for actually testing response times. And the basic way it works is you put some conductive tape on whatever key you're using. I use the W key because frankly for gaming, that's probably uh, the most commonly used key. Uh, and with that, you clip the device to that tape that is uh, conductive. And then there's a probe that you just hit onto that key uh, as fast as you can. And the device measures the electrical signal that comes off of completing that circuit and then measures when the device actually inputs the keystroke. So you get the difference in the time between the time you actually completed the circuit to when the keyboard actually inputs a signal uh, to its USB receiver or to the USB plug. So with that in mind, because there is some human error there, I threw out any keystrokes that I felt like I didn't hit the key perfectly square with and only kept the ones that I felt really good about hitting the key square with. Now the keyboards I tested, obviously the G915 from Logitech, but also the wired keyboard that it replaced, which was the Corsair K95 Platinum. And then I also did test another Logitech wireless keyboard, the K400R that I had laying around just to kind of see what a much more budget friendly keyboard came in with the results. And well, here's what the results look like. So for each of the data points, what you'll notice is the Corsair K95 had the best couple few sort of runs in here, but Corsair's keyboard also was not so consistent where it would fluctuate anywhere from the 3.7, 3.6 milliseconds response time all the way up to about 8.9 milliseconds in response time. And there seemed to be no rhyme or reason why 
uh, one keyboard stroke would be very low versus one would be a little bit higher. Now, the surprising bit with this is that the Logitech G915 wireless keyboard was actually a little slower with its fastest keystrokes but it was more consistent. That's what you see with that red line. It was very consistent in the response times. And then up there on the blue line is the roughly $25 Logitech K400R, which we expect to be significantly slower. But if you're getting a very budget-friendly wireless keyboard, that's kind of the difference that you're gonna see between the wireless budget option and a solid wired keyboard. But obviously for the Logitech G915, the wireless option is really good here. And to just show that a little bit more, these are the runs averaged out where the G915 actually does about two milliseconds on average keystroke better than the Corsair K95 Platinum. So that was obviously just a very surprising result for me. Now, to be clear about this, this may be highly dependent on where you put your receiver. So if you have a G915 and you are not getting great response times, you may try moving your receiver a little bit closer. So the summary here is really, really simple. If you've been hesitating getting a wireless keyboard because you are concerned about the response time from actually pushing a key to the actual input being read by the PC, then you really don't have to worry about that, at least with the G915. Now, keep in mind, this is a very high-end keyboard. So if you're willing to shell out 200 to $250 for a keyboard, and you just want to make sure that the wireless functionality is gonna be top-notch, then absolutely, this keyboard is good to go. If you're looking at more budget options, it is highly likely that you're gonna sacrifice a little bit of response time, but, to be fair too, if you're not a pro gamer, that extra eight or so milliseconds in response time from the Corsair wired option over to the wireless option, the budget wireless option, the K400R, that might not actually really matter in your gameplay. You might be much more concerned with getting a good gaming mouse, uh, which is gonna make a bigger difference in those response times than the actual keyboard itself. But if your only hang up was whether or not response times was good with a wireless option, yeah, a good wireless implementation can in fact be every bit, if not better than the wired option. So with that, I will leave links down below to these products, whether it's the wired option, the wireless option, or the budget wireless option, all those will be linked down below. But I do wanna hear from those of you out there that have a wireless keyboard. Let me know your model number that you have and what your experience with it has been in those comments down below. Otherwise, like, share, subscribe, all those things very helpful for the channel. And I'm gonna get out of here and actually play some games with this keyboard now. So I'll see you all in the next video.